Firstly, I'd like to say bugger it and fudge cakes if having proper light doesn't fix my monitor problems. I'll continue without recording audio because I know you secretly are. I'm going to try not to talk to you too much this time because obviously I am... Um, you don't know. This is... <laughs> oh, look! Megatron. Mm. <sighs> I asked you a question last week, which was, ask me a question. And I got I got a massive amount of replies. Very, very pleased. I've got the page up. I'm just going to click through them one by one. We'll see how it goes. Um, if you have anything else to ask me in a later video, by all means do so. But a week's probably good enough, isn't it? Yeah. I'm recording this, so I might edit it. Or this might be just the longest video known to man, because I'm probably going to have to run around and get props to demonstrate things, because I know some of you have asked me transformer -y questions. I've got half a collection ready to rock and roll, but only half. In fact, let me do that. I'm all excited about it. Because I can see what's on the screen as everything goes on. Right, let me just make sure everything's working. Right, so there you go. Where are we? Get me head out of the way. So at the top you got Optimuses, all Optimuses, and then you got Optimuses, and then you got an empty space, which is going to be movie Autobots and Protector Armor, uh, and animated Swindle. Do you know when you remember how good a toy is? That toy is amazing. Uh, and then movie Decepticons, there. And then assorted stuff. I'm going to try and fit all my chugs down here. I had lots of my human alliances and my beast stuffs in there. I'm not really feeling the beast stuff. I know some of you are probably going to be, you know, mortified about that. And I apologise. I really do. I'm very sorry. But the beast era just isn't my thing. I've got a couple of sexies. I'm going to leave out Tarantulas and I'm going to leave out Black Arachnia. That's pretty much going to be it, really. I've got a scavenger. I like scavenger. But even then, I'm just going to turn him into an, a big ant and then hide him away for a little while, I think. Questions to the questions. <clears throat> Mr. John John asks a plethora of questions. What, why, and where? Uh, none of your business, Sonny Jim, cheeky monkey. Uh, what's your favourite Decepticon? I don't really have one uh, because I'm not really, I'm not con based. I tend to stick them all in a great big lump together. I have two Decepticons which I have that reoccur substantially more in my collection than anything else because I just seem to like them when they come along. Uh, that's a lie, is it? Mm. I like Barricade from the movies. I don't know why, there's just something about, there's something so overtly, grotesquely humanoid yet as far away from humanoid as I could possibly be with the spiky hands and the big bits that come off his shoulders and the grimacy face and I love Barricade. I've, I think I've got all the iterations of Barricade from the movies. I'm probably wrong, you know what it's like when you say that some little shit pops up and goes actually there was one in <laughs> but as far as I know I've definitely got all the iterations that I care about. The Human Alliance one is the sex. Uh, the other one that I really like, again, it's movie. I like the movies, fuck yeah. But <sighs> there was something very powerful that stirred within me. That's a very bold thing to say. There was, there was something very powerful that stirred within me. When? Because when the first movie came out, they did a little teaser of um, what's going to happen, what the robots are going to look like. And they showed you everything and nothing all at the same time. And what they showed you was Blackout transforming at the beginning of the first movie when he lands and they say, or we will kill you. And then he turns into a robot and just fucking fuck shit up. And that stayed with me for an awfully long time, that scene of video. I enjoyed that a lot. So, there you go. Two, Barricade and Blackout. Uh, if you could have any bot, which one would you have? 
I don't really crave bots like that anymore. I just like stuff when it comes along. Anything that I really, 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 really wanted, I kind of bought when I was in my living with mum and dad and had loads of money phase. Uh, all the primes, really. The one that I really want, I think this is going to be revisited later on. <sighs> Any Optimus Prime that I don't own. One in particular. We'll see if the question pops up later on. It's, it's, the, um, it's the dual mode Optimus Prime. It's just, if you don't know what it is, go and look it up. It's like a giant Gundam transformer that doesn't transform. It doesn't turn from a robot into a truck, but it couldn't be a better capture of that robot image. And it's got the Dark of the Moon six-pack chest, and the chrome is actually chrome, and the posability is just... And he's in scale. His feet are the right size. All of this stuff just... It's just sexy time, it really is. What superpower would you have? <laughs> I would have x-ray eyes. <laughs> so I can look at girls' boobies. <laughs> really. Because <laughs> I'm a dirty man. <laughs> <coughs> Going to hell. Ah! Uh, uh, Stargazer1955-2010. What became of the Enterprise that you had been working on? Did you ever find that one Leo Prime you were looking for? Uh, I've been working on two Enterprises. One is about 85% completion, and one is my one of my New Year's resolutions to get on with and finish this year. Not finish this year, but make progress on a regular basis. Uh, the 350 is sat upstairs in the workbench at Mum and Dad's house, and it's not really appropriate to go and work there at the moment. When it is, I will be. Uh, the Leo Prime that I wanted so desperately is the one that I wanted to auto-assembly, and when they did have one, I was on limited funds, and the only one I could find was 50 quid mint in box. Which sounds really good, except that the first thing I'm going to do to a 50 quid mint in box toy is take it out of the box and make it not mint by playing with it and getting my greasy puds all over it and sticking it on a shelf and getting it covered in dust. I really want the white Leo Convoy. I really do. But I'll be honest, I want a £30 one off eBay that doesn't have a box and just comes wrapped up with love and has been played with by someone else. That's what I want. So I didn't get it. I will do one day. I'm patient. Rave1x says, uh, did you eat any of the Tesco's horse burgers? No. Uh, even the jokes weren't very funny. Please don't talk about it anymore. Uh, where is your birthmark and what does it look like? I don't have one. I am unsullied by such dirty frivolities. Uh, would you ever shave your hair into the shape of an eagle? Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'll do it next weekend. Or for my birthday. Glad I got hair left, if I'm honest. Uh, do you have a favourite Kabaya candy kit? See, I said I was going to have to get up and wander around. He's a badass motherfucker. Yes, Energon Optimus. Uh, fucking Energon. R.I.D. Optimus Prime. He's beautiful. I quite like the birdie one that Matt Time Lord reviewed a little while ago. Deathsaurus, Tazarus. Not bothered by the Fort Max thing though. Base formers. What's the point? Ugh. Um. Blue Dragon One One One. I hope something becomes of this agency malarkey. Have you been to a convention of any kind? Are you going to auto assembly this year? Yes, I've been to lots of, well, I've been to three auto assemblies. And if I miss it this year, I will be rather disappointed because uh, Helen's going to want to go and see uh, Dan Bumblebee. And um, I want to go and meet Steve Blum, the voice of Starscream. In my opinion, probably one of the best voice actors the franchise has ever really come across. He's just sublime. His portrayal of whiny, scared, devious, angry Starscream is brilliant. Uh, Rat Trap 25, uh, tea or coffee? Tea, coffee is the devil's. 
What is your favourite Optimus Prime toy? Dad, you can't... It's like asking me to pick between children. <coughs> I love <coughs> R.I.D. Fire Engine Optimus Prime. Um, I love... I do love my Dark of the Moon Jet Wings Optimus. And uh, the new pack that's coming out to go on it, the new Jet Wings kit, even in just the grey, and then I could spray it myself. Um, I would admit that out of all, when I look at my Prime shelf, the one that makes me glow with pride more than any other is my MP01. I know it's only a Toys R Us battle damaged MP01. It's just so good. It's posability, it's flexibility, it's, it's ability to stand there with his chest puffed out proud looking at you with his beautifully angled head. It absolutely just smashes everything else. Possibly that's because it's the one, the toy that got me back in. I think it's the toy that, hmm. I bought the Supreme Starscream. I bought a Supreme Star screen, which got me back on the bus a little bit, and then I think shortly after that, Optimus came out, and I wonder. I went to Toys R Us to buy a toy for a child whose friend it was. This is before toy collecting, and I saw it, and I was just like, I don't care how old I am; I have to have it. So, yes, that's that's Smuzno Genesis. Not one word, two. Not Genesis, like the Star Trek kind. Uh, Kirk or Picard? Both. I can't choose. They're different. Kirk was good because he was cocky and of his time. Yet Picard, I think, is actually... I think Picard's a far superior leader. But in a very different way. Um, old school or rave? Old school rave. Really? I... Old school is breakbeat hardcore. It's all over the place. It's musically very diverse and then it doesn't really have structure of, and, and, and you have to really learn the records to play them properly because the, the intros and the outros and the segues are all really obscure sometimes. Whereas Rave is four to the floor stabs, to me, four to floor stabs and pianos and squeaky noises and really horribly overlaid um, sample sounds that I like, which are out of key because you've moved them on a sequencer and I think that's why people liked it. So uh, both and neither. Uh, I saw your... <laughs> Favourite non-Bayformer era toy you own? Um, Sega Man 19. What is the favourite non-Bayformer era toy that I own? <coughs> uh, um, mm. Do you know, oddly, the one that I really have a, an affinity for probably isn't out. Uh, I like animated RC. There is just something about that. It's just glorious. It was genuinely the pinnacle. I think possibly because I went to auto assembly specifically to get one and then didn't end up getting one, which isn't a story that I'm going to go, go into, but I was disappointed to say the least. Uh, but yes, RC, she's beautiful. And if you haven't got one, you have to have one. Just as a standalone toy with that light piping and that transformation and that really beautiful physique to come from that car and to be so close to the animated line but to be so in touch with the generation one movie <coughs> you need one of those in your life uh bumble jumper no oh, that's me bumble jumper 82 uh, what is your fave g1 episode what a funny question um I quite like the one where the Dinobots come in from a children's 
memory point of view. Uh, I, I got all the, I think I got all the Dinobots. I got quite a few of the Dinobots one year for Christmas. I got a Grimlock and I got a Snarl and my brother got some. That one. Um, I like the, the whole fight for power between Optimus and Grimlock and Optimus teaches Grimlock and I have a lot of those qualities in me because of him and dad. Uh, what is your TF guilty secret? There are, there are no guilty secrets about me. I like Transformers. I tell everybody. I don't care. I think when you hit 38 years old and then just openly wear your love for robots on your sleeve, there are no secrets anymore. Everyone knows I'm bonkers and they've just sort of got used to it now. It's fine. <coughs> Would you like a toasted tea cake? I'd love a toasted tea cake, uh, but can we have light? Can't believe it's not butter on there, please. Maybe a little bit of cheese spread. Uh, Razatron, what software do you use for music productions and samples? Ah, now this is why we need to have a chat, Raz. I'm going to very quickly go over this. I use Cubase 5 because it's just something I could get hold of. I used to use a program called Uendo, which is very like Cubase 5. It just doesn't have some of the bells and whistles that Cubase 5 does have. I'm used to Cubase, but I think it's a very, very good tool. <coughs> if you have a Mac, use Logic. I think it is better. If you don't have a Mac, don't go to FL Studio. I know so many people do so many amazing things on FL Studio. It's just not as good. And stop using that Korg thing. And while you can use audio samples all you like, stop worrying about recording your audio samples and start thinking about how you're going to arrange them. Because that's where your sequencer comes in. And without knowing your sequencer properly, it doesn't matter how good your samples are, the whole thing's going to fall apart. And you need to get into adjusting the pitch of your samples to make music out of stuff. And then it gets all crackers. <coughs> I'm a bit poorly. I might have to take my jumper off in a minute and boil it. Have you seen my Viper? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's the sexy. I've beat him up like it's all knackered and worn and smashed. And that's how it's supposed to be. So I've got to finish that off this week. Then I can draw a line under that and finish the D7 and get all the lights working. And then it's all smexy. And I can't sit it on the damn stand because you're being a pig. Come along. Play the game. Oh, for Christ's sake. Just sit there. Put the stand somewhere else. And we're back. Um, so, the Fallen 835. What are you planning to pick up at AA this year? Sod all. Uh, what is your favourite Star Trek episode of any series? Oh, A Year of Hell in Voyager. Oh, good. Uh, and anything from Star Trek The Next Generation with Data in. The Data-centric episodes are very good. Um, and anything Star Trek The Next Generation which can, which follows uh, Picard being Worf's Chadich and the fight for power within the Klingon you know, supremacy and stuff like that. I think some of that was... Some really, really top boss writing. Uh, and what are you planning to pick up A this year? Going to be skint, can't afford anything. That's that. Probably the dual mode Optimus Prime that we spoke about before. Predaking 79, wrap up warm today. Written a while ago. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Are you going to AA this year? Do you want to lift? Fuck yeah. Yes. Uh... Damn you, hussies. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I don't know about... Are we, are you spoke about the, the name thing, which I've decided that I'm not. I'm just going to go Dave S. Mess. Um, because obviously I need to... If you're going to build a portfolio, you need to build it locally with the people that remember you. So to take all those people that do remember me and then dilute it into a different name just seems stupid. 
it's a bit like when I tell people don't start a new channel to talk about a different subject because you dilute, dilute your audience. That's exactly what I'll be doing, so I shan't be doing it. Thank you, Damien Hussey. Hope you're well. You've not been on for ages. I hope you've still got the beard. It's a very good beard. Uh, Borders Dude. Keep the Smurfs no name. Which figure are you looking forward to this year? Um, Beast Hunters Optimus Prime. <gasps> <coughs> and the bumblebee. The bumblebee is sublime. It's brilliant. I know it's a bumblebee, but it's still really, really good. Are there any third-party figures you would like, and if so, which ones? All of them. The Devastator. The big one. Yes. Uh, I absolutely crave, and I know I will never own, but I just, I would so love that Uranus one, the Superion. It just looks cracking to have that size in a combiner and to, to have feet that will actually support it and stuff like that that's the one that I would want pretty sweet um cyber Samuel, who's always on always on and we had a little talk about mask which is good <coughs> they are the mighty power and will save the day. Uh, what do you look for in a transformer? Alt mode, transformation, articulation, screen accuracy, etc. Let's clever that first, shall we? Because it's the second half. Uh, I look for it to be fun. If it's overly comp uh, uh, Optimus Prime, let's take, for example, Jetwing's Optimus Prime. 130 quid's worth of toy. Lot of money. Statue. Never transformed it. Took it out, put the jet wings on there, and that was it. Because I've transformed one before. It's just too complicated. It takes forever. Um, alternators, skids. Not alternators, cock. Human Alliance skids. Too complicated, it takes forever. The leg To get the leg at the back working right is it's too hard. It takes all the joy out of it. I love toy, I love having it. I love it as a collector's piece. As a play piece, do you know the best thing? Best toy I've come across in ages. I might have said this already. Complicated enough to keep you interested. Simple enough to just pick up and tinker with it. The colours are good, the proportions are good, the, the, the representation of what it was in the cartoon is superb. If all the toys could be like that, I'd be very happy. Uh, do you prefer complex transformations or something simple to get done? Blah, 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 blah. What I said. Thank you. Uh, uh, I think saying is. Why did you start on YouTube, Van Horso? I started on YouTube because there was a man called Van Horso who was mad. And I loved him. And I had good interaction with him through the YouTube. And he just... There, was, there are certain people that I really like to watch now. But not many. Um, the horse actually had me rolled up in stitches. And he wasn't everyone's taste because he was very, very extreme. And he was very, very surreal and obscure. <coughs> and mildly dangerous at times and said stupid things and I loved it. It made me want to have a go at doing what he did um, because he just loved the toys and he loved... I'll, I'll might put a video up and show you. Um, if you could only keep one bot, what would it be and why? It would be my own MPO one because it is the epitome depiction of Optimus Prime for me until I get an MP10. Um, is Trek your favourite sci-fi? Hell yes. <coughs> Are you into any others? Stargate is my particular favourite. Stargate's quite good. My mum and dad have seen like the whole series of Stargate from beginning to end because they always sit it down and eat it, watch it. They don't eat it, they watch it while they're eating in the evenings. Um, the new Battlestar Galactica was just... It was brilliant. So I'm going to say that uh, I love Doctor Who. So good. Matt Smith is just... I hate that I'm camp on camera. He's like, ooh, he's lovely. Um, Matt Smith's very good. 
It's very, very good, except that I watched Secret Diaries of a Cool Girl the other day, and uh, Matt Smith was in that, being dirty and, and putting his pokey into dirty girls. <laughs> John Bulew. I think that's Bewley. I like Bulew. I call our Bewley Bewley. Um, dishwasher tabs in the laundry. The question is, do your clothes come out spot free? To be honest with you, I really, I didn't know that I was doing it wrong until I actually washed my clothes with proper dishwasher. Well, not just fucking idiot. I washed my clothes with proper stuff that's supposed to go in a washing machine and then discovered that they smell really nice. Don't judge me. Wasp shot 23 questions. What pre <laughs> fairy? <laughs> what was my what was your first movie figure? Optimus. Surprise surprise. In fact, I remember because I hadn't had the job that I was doing long and I was working with another guy called Steve. He was really nice, but expert at making himself look like he was doing lots, but not doing lots. Um, and I remember he let, let it swing because I went, I had an extra half hour off lunch because the toy had only just come in and I bumped off work to go and get it. Uh, and now I think that, <coughs> you know, that toy's shit. And not up there. I've lost it. <gasps> you have to find it. Um, Optimus Prime. Can you make a little music ditty to put in your toy waffle vids? Yes, what do you suggest? What do you think? Let me know. If you want something, if you want something, I'll quite happily give it a go for you. There you go. Um, what was your favourite figure of 2012? I was very, very pleased to get the first edition, Optimus Prime. Do you know, of all the figures that I've got in 2012, of all the figures that really made me... The favourite figure I got in 2012 isn't a Transformer. My Michelangelo. I love him. I also really like Dreadwing from Prime. Um, and I I really like the first edition Bumblebee. It was just, it was a nice turning point where the toy looked like the cartoon, the cartoon looked like the, looked like the toy. It's, it's a good little robot. Uh, do you have anything from G2? No, nothing at all. Stop being William. Uh, what's best? Uh, what, so what is the best toy and the worst toy which you have reviewed? The best toy that I've reviewed would be my Jetwings Prime. The worst toy that I've reviewed... Oh, actually, uh, the worst toy that I've reviewed, I haven't really reviewed. I've just sort of poked up in a, in a kind of I love mess kind of way, and I just went like that very quickly and never really talked about it very much. I'm getting up again. Because I have got a My Worst Toy. If you go right back to my early videos when I was making lots of squeaky noises and wanting to be Mitt Van Horso, I did review a toy that I think is my worst toy. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to go and make you watch. It's like my third or fourth <coughs> ever video. Go and have a look because it'll be nice to get numbers on there. And put a note on there saying, I went and watched your video because I watched your other video. Just to let you know that I'm watching your other video because of your other video. This is the worst toy. It just upsets me. And as I said, in a, in a kind of golden little link, it just pisses me off that this comes from the same, not line, because one's a first edition and one's just a normal Voyager, but this comes from this. It's all Transformers Prime, yeah? yeah this has got so much emotion and 
character and poise and he evokes what he's supposed to do in the cartoon so very well. And this is a piece of cheap shit. It upsets me. I've got them put them back on my shelves. I had a go at trying to clear all the box up. You should see the amount of box that I've got left over. It's very sad. Um, the the channel name of the next person I think is the best thing ever. Live for everything, die for nothing. I love that. You talk on my thing quite a lot. You have a very, very good channel name. Uh, will you be going to Auto Assembly 13? Yes. What do you think about Third Fight Transformers? Love the new stuff. Already spoken about it. I like the... One that's supposed to look like Jack Fire, whose name I can't remember, and it's really annoying me now. I really want one of those, but they're just, there's so much money. Um, it disappoints me that Hasbro can't make toys that good. It encourages me that Hasbro have now got the competition to actually have to make toys good because other people are making them better. It upsets me a little that. It's still only a 7-inch and 8-inch tall robot. It's like £80. Pounds. It's, not, it's not worth it. Um, do you read any of the IDW Dream of comics? Uh, nope. Don't read comics. Dyslexic. It's like reading a manual to a washing machine. It doesn't mean anything. I like the pictures. I love art. I've always loved art. I've got A-levels and stuff like that. Um, so I like that side of things, but will you be getting any of the new masterpiece figures when your finances are sorted? Uh, probably not the side swipe or the red alert. I'm not really bothered by them. The sound wave looks sublime, but I'm not really a Decepticon collector. And one way or another, even if it means selling body parts and having to cut them out myself, I shall have an MP10. Uh, will you be getting? That's it. Liking the vloggy type stuff, Dave. Keep them coming. Thank you very much. <coughs> this is going to be the longest video ever. How long are we? <sighs> um, I think this is right. Guy Roos or Garus or Jai Rousse or something like that. G Y R U S S E. Uh, you are now standalone artiste. Cool about the music thing. Keep the name Smuzmo. You didn't actually ask. Question. I like your name. I think. I knew what it meant. Uh, Jetstorm the reviewer, what's your favourite limb combiner part of Energon Prime? Fucking wing saber. <laughs> Isn't it? Awesome. <coughs> um, Mr. John John, we've already covered him. Newfian. That's it. That's all of your questions, which is good because we're now at 33 minutes. And I don't even think I'm going to be bothered to edit this because it was on the fly as it was supposed to be. How horrible does my dressing gown look? I bought one for Helen for a birthday present. Or a Christmas present. Birthday present. Yes. And then when I ordered it, it never came through. So when I phoned up and complained, I'm still doing this. Uh, so when I found out I complained, I said, oh yes, you're right, it doesn't show that it was ever delivered. We're sending you another one. Both of them turned up on the same day. Gave one to her, kept the other one in a package for like five months. But nothing ever came back saying, where the hell's my thing? So in the end, I just opened it up. And I like it. I wear it all the time. It's just that it's a Spock one. And I blatantly should be in a Captain Kirk's yellow one. I'm going to have to buy one one day because I really like the whole wearing a dressing gown thing. Because, like, as you come out of my door, which you can see, it's just my, the bathroom is left straight away. So in the mornings, I haven't got to go through the whole house. It's just a quick dip through. So I can just want a yellow one. Uh, this has been SMS number one. Um, thank you for all of your responses. It was most enjoyable. I've been thinking about it a lot, especially, like, What's your best part of Energon Prime? Now, I can't remember. I, to this moment, although it was only three minutes ago, I can't remember who asked that. But I do remember the questions. And I remember thinking, oh, is it the helicopter? Oh, is it the boot? Is it? And then I just thought, no, it's Wing Saber. Uh, that's it. More to come soon. I'm going to review something. I tell you what, uh, I'm going to review...
do you want either that or that? Answers on the postcard, please, to Smuzno Talks Too Much at bbc.f.uk.